Woj joins us now on the phone. Woj, what more can you tell us into this decision to part ways with Dems? Uh, David, uh, New Orleans owner Gail Benson was especially livid last night, I'm told, with Anthony Davis leaving the arena before the game was over. He had an injured shoulder uh, and left the building during the Oklahoma City. The, the win over Oklahoma City uh, decided uh, this morning to part ways with Del Demps, who's been the general manager there and had been overseeing these Anthony Davis trade talks. And now the organization's focused on, you know, going out into the marketplace, trying to hire a high-end league executive to take them through what is going to be the most important uh, decision uh, and, and one that will have you know, ramifications for a decade plus, and that's the return that they will get in an Anthony Davis trade. And uh, they're, they're the first team in the league now out in the marketplace looking for a new general manager. Hey, Welch, I'm hearing this and I'm thinking, you know, is it the GM's job to keep one of the players inside the building? Is there, is there more to it as far as the way he handled it and the, the fact that they did not get a trade done before the deadline? Well, I, I think the organization was, I think from top to bottom was pretty steadfast that they weren't going to just give uh, Anthony Davis what he wanted in the short term. They felt they were being held up with a player with a year plus left on his contract. They have a much bigger playing field uh, among offers and, and deals to choose from as they get into the offseason, and they want a new executive to chart that course. I think they've been disappointed with the results uh, and, and really how the team's been constructed. It did get to the second round last year of the Western Conference Finals, um, but the roster changed. The team hasn't drafted well. The DeMarcus Cousins trade ultimately what was – was a net negative for the organization. Cousins got injured and left. They traded an excellent young player and Buddy Heald. They don't have much to show from that deal. And, you know, they want to go out, and especially in a small market where you've got to draft well, you've got to develop players. That has not been a strong suit uh, as they've tried to build a contender around Anthony Davis. All right. Demps had been there almost nine years in that position as GM. Who might be in line to replace him there in New Orleans? Well, you know, Danny Ferry, who's been a consultant with the organization, former GM in Atlanta and Cleveland, uh, he, he's a candidate, I'm told, to be the interim GM. And I, I think the organization will take a look at him in this role. You know, one candidate who is available, uh, David Griffin, the former GM uh, in Cleveland, uh, is, you know, is likely going to be uh, initially a focus of the search. But I think for the Pelicans, they need to be really focused on, A, someone who can organize uh, and, and execute an Anthony Davis trade, and then the kind of draft picks and, and assets you're going to get back from that, from that. They've got to have someone in place who, I think for them, has a track record of drafting well, of being an excellent talent evaluator, because as they've learned over the last several years, New Orleans is not a free agent destination. They're not going to build their team that way. They've got to do a better job through the draft. Hey, real quickly, Woj, uh, we saw Alvin Gentry in, in the sound basically calling the situation there with his team a dumpster fire. What does this shakeup mean for Gentry? Yeah, the organization's been, the ownership's been pleased with how he's handled it. I think the players are still really playing for, playing hard for him and his staff. Uh, I, I think it's very likely he's going to finish the season out. But then you're looking at the prospects of a new general manager, a new top basketball executive who may want to bring his own coach in. But for right now, you know, Alvin Gentry, the organization feels like he's done the best. Uh, he, he, you know, he's done the best possible job in what's been a really tumultuous uh, situation for the coaching staff, for the players, and uh, for this organization.